What is going on, you guys? Huge, a lot of news today. Lots of news, especially for something that doesn't get that much news. Imperial Assault has a new digital campaign coming out on August 8th. So that is like right after Gen Con. So uh, Jabba's Realm is going to have a five mission campaign coming out uh, for the app. So if you already have the app, uh, you got more content coming for it. It will require that you get the, the Java's Realm physical product, so this way you can play through this and, and jump into the Sarlacc pit and, and go through all of these adventures. Uh, pretty cool stuff. It's going to have more of those choices for you to make, so if you are an Imperial Assault fan, this is huge news for you. If you like playing co-op, this is huge news. So very, very exciting uh, for all those Imperial Assault players who have been like I think this has been like the number one uh, request because they've had the app out for a while now and there hasn't been any additional content for it. So uh, we really needed to get some more Imperial Assault stuff. So this is a big, big deal. Uh, so let me know down in the comments how you feel about this news. Are you excited or were you m m hoping more for skirmish-based stuff? For those of you still playing Imperial Assault, you know, do you play more skirmish or are you more interested in campaign uh, and cooperative type play? Personally, I think this is where Imperial Assault is going to shine because it doesn't have to compete with Legion in this way because this is the story element, this is the cooperative, this is, you know, a, a soloable even uh, option if you want to play this, uh, in, you know, through the app this way. And it's also got that digital component, which is a thing that some newer games are doing. And it's just, it's nice not having to be the Imperial player. I've talked about this before. I don't like usually one versus many games because if you own the game you end up having to be the one or the or the imperial player or the dungeon master or whatever and it's just not a whole lot of fun so this is you know fixing one of my biggest problems with imperial assault the only other problem i really have with imperial assault at this point is still having to piece these maps together piece by piece which gets a little tedious but it's really not that big of a deal for the campaigns it's not you know it's not the end of the world. It's just a, you know, it's a minor gripe. Like I would have just rather had a board, like a standard game board, maybe. But then again, there's pros and cons with that because then you don't get as dynamic of a board, and these are very much more dynamic boards. So when you do get them put together, you can have a far more interesting gameplay experience. It just requires a little more setup. I generally, like games that have a quicker setup, like you know, like X Wing, just roll out the one mat, let's go. You know, drop our obstacles, let's go. Feels like it's a lot quicker. So. Interesting stuff. Um, do also have a giveaway winner to announce today. Giveaway winner number two. That's going to be coming up. But we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the other news that dropped today too. Because Destiny actually has across the galaxy. And this one's kind of cool. This one's cool because this is basically... Uh, it, it seems like every time there's a movie or a major new product coming out, Destiny's getting an expansion based on it. It won't surprise me if we get another... Um, you know, another another Destiny um, set someday for Star Wars Resistance. Um, another thing that looks cool is it looks like we're getting a new Darth Vader in this one as well. So that much is very exciting. But this one is cool because this is bringing uh, Inferno Squad into it with Iden Versio as well. And of course, while while it's certainly about Han Solo and, and, and everything, you know, Lando's Falcon, all of this stuff, it's also about, uh, it's, it's also has basically Battlefront 2 stuff. So all that's new stuff that they're actually making canon is showing up in multiple places. We've seen Iden Versio in Inferno Squad and X-Wing now. Now we're seeing them in Destiny. It would not surprise me if they show up in other games as well, or if we even get, you know, a new game that could maybe use them as well. Who knows? Another thing that I think is kind of cool about this spread, I don't talk too much about Destiny anymore. I've kind of backed off from Destiny a little bit. Um, but but uh, this some of the art on this card stifle here. It's now I can I know this isn't Star Killer, but it just reminds me a little bit, just a little bit of Star Killer. So every time because that's like my number one thing that I want to see come back is Star Killer, especially for Sam what were to reprise him or Galen Merrick in some way. I know that that's not him. That's probably just some generic Sith or something like you know one of those masks of power that they talked about in the aftermath books. But I would really really love to see. Star Killer come back anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's Old Republic, Galactic Civil War, you know, sequel timeline, and in between, you know, a, a separate galaxy outer reaches, maybe in, in what happens with Thrawn. Speaking of Thrawn, Thrawn is coming out in one more week, guys. That's gonna be awesome. 
but we'll talk more about Thrawn in another video. But this, this is cool stuff. So a lot of new, a lot of news today. And then, so the, really, the interesting thing here is 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 a more big, big news, especially for Imperial Assault. And you gotta wonder, what's the one game that just doesn't get any news right now? Where is Armada news? I honestly don't know if they're gonna even announce anything for Armada right now at Gen Con. I think it'll be like the week after, like they did last time. Uh, I, I, I maybe I'm just you know, somebody said in the FFG forums I made a prediction. It's like what happens if they don't, guys? Give it one more week. And somebody said this is like the equivalent of using a brace token. So. What's, it's just surprising me that, that in two weeks we're going to have Gen Con, less than two weeks at this point, uh, we're going to have Gen Con, we're going to have the, uh, well actually it's exactly two weeks from today, we're going to have this, you know, the in-flight report, we're going to have all of their new announcements, right, and, and, and but, but they're dropping everything in the weeks leading up to it. We've just got major uh, news for Imperial Assault, this is huge. We, we've got so much news for X-Wing lately. They keep dropping new X-Wing stuff. Lando's Falcon, I didn't think would... I thought I thought for sure if that was coming, which I, we, I did think that was coming, I thought for sure that was going to be a Gen Con announcement because that's a big deal. That was worthy of a Gen Con announcement. Palpatine for Legion was worthy of a Gen Con announcement. A whole new uh, adventure for the Imperial Assault app is definitely worthy of a Gen Con announcement. So what is going to be the Gen Con announcement? I mean, it feels like you know, from a certain point of view, and let me know in the comments below, do you think like Armada is the one thing that they haven't talked about at all, like almost deliberately, almost like by deliberate omission, do you think that that's going to be the one thing that eventually, you know, shows up and says, oh, all right, all right, we've got it, or, or, or is that going to be the one thing that's just like, they just ignore and they, like it almost seems like, my, my, my fear is that they're going to waste this opportunity and just talk more about the stuff that they've already announced. And like, yes, and time for the in-flight report. As you know, we have the Lando's Falcon coming out. And you know, and as you know, we also have Jabba's Realm coming out for the app. And as you know, we also have a new wave of Destiny coming out. And you can talk to us more about these on the showroom floor. And like, that's, that's what I'm most afraid of, is that there'll be nothing new. Um, because they're dropping it all in advance, which on one hand is exciting that they're giving us new stuff like every week and you know this is an exciting time. But on the other hand, I'm like, are you spending your are you like, are you are you wasting the surprise early and then there won't be anything you know come Gen Con or is Gen Con gonna be like maybe it'll be an all new game and they'll just want to promote a whole new game. I just I don't feel like they would have have that happen as X Wing 2.0 launches, but. Uh, but this app is going live August 8th, so very, very cool. Uh, I do have a winner to announce. So, drum roll, please. <laughs> All right, uh, winner is congratulations to Maldus Alver. Uh, you have just won a conversion kit, so just uh, shoot, me, uh, shoot me an email with your contact information and we will get you squared away with a Cool Stuff gift card for one uh, expansion or 2.0 conversion kit. So. There's still one more to go, guys. There is still one more to go. And don't worry, because even after that one more, I'm still gonna be doing giveaways all the time. I've got a lot of stuff to to give away. So and it's coming for you. And more giveaways on Patreon. So that will be starting up here again. Another one will be starting up in a few weeks. We just had one last week. Um, and that is going out very soon. So that's uh, that is just about it, guys. Uh, so to summarize. Let me know if are you still playing Imperial Assault because that's basically um, a thing that I see this huge disconnect because I don't see people out playing Imperial Assault skirmishes. I don't see people um, coming. You know, I don't see as many Imperial Assault tournaments. There are some. You know, especially you have store championships and all this stuff coming up. But what I'm what I don't see is I don't see just that casual play. I see a lot more people showing up for things like X Wing, Destiny, and then Legion, and even Armada. Armada I, I, I talked about this on the FFG forums. Armada is growing. Um, like tremendously here in Orlando. We're getting a huge amount of people playing Armada in Orlando, which is awesome. And I feel like the game is actually picking up steam, which is surprising with the lack of news. Um, but I, I, I appreciate that and I try to encourage that. Uh, but what I don't see is I don't see people playing IA very much. Now, I believe a lot of this, and I've talked to people about this, and I think it's like IA is more of, because it's a campaign game, it's more of a game that I think people are playing more in private, in their homes, or they're having their friends come over for like a, a Wednesday night weekly, uh, you know, campaign where they just keep meeting up and playing. And that could be why. Maybe it's decreasing visibility of the game, and, uh, you know, maybe 
maybe that maybe something new is needed for Imperial Assault, like maybe a larger campaigns where you do have one Imperial player, but you're playing with like 16 players, you know, or something like that. Maybe some kind of larger where they break off into their own groups. Maybe some really advanced, um, you know, semi-cooperative group-based campaign. Um, that can get visibility in stores if that's something that they want to do. Would, would you know what would be something out of the box, outside the box that Imperial Assault could do, or do you think the app is probably good enough for that? Maybe there's a way that they can link multiple apps together ad hoc or something like that, similar to like like Nintendo Switch. You're like close together, they can interface. You can you know you could have like three different groups all competing. You know, for the best, uh, you know, for this prize, maybe Jabba's gives you a bounty, and you guys all have to go out for it because you need to win Jabba's favor to thwart the Empire. Something like that. Um, would something like that interest you? I don't know if I mean, because that's certainly something that Imperial Assault could do that that really that Legion couldn't compete with. You know, so if you're further trying to you know distance these two products from each other, I think that'd be a cool way to go. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and let me know what you think. Uh, also. There's still time, you know, we've got a few more days left. This is the week of announcing giveaways, so uh, there's one more conversion kit still to be given away, so all it takes to do to enter that is become a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.